Hey folks, uh, Kinetic Knowledge here to discuss how to add alternative text descriptions to your images and graphics when creating or adding content uh, on or to your website. Granted, there can be some graphics and some imagery ingrained in a website theme that are difficult to get into, but this video will support you with most images and graphics in your website pages and blog posts. And by the way, we're using WordPress here to demonstrate with their classic editor. While website solutions or the editor may be different, maybe that you're using, the logic you will see here is going to be fairly similar in most all of these solutions, whether it be Squarespace, Wix, WordPress, etc. So let's carry on. Um, what you see here, uh, let's use a basic page. And again, this applies to blog posts as well. Um, but let's see a basic page with some generic text and an image to look at how you would describe that image or add all text, also known as alternative to text to describe it. And so in this case, uh, we've already loaded an image to uh, essentially this generic page. If you click the image in the editor, it's going to offer you some options. And what we're interested in is in how to add all text. So in order to do that, you're going to click the pencil icon. Okay, you see these icons, and it's the pencil icon you're going to click. That will offer a pop-up box. Okay, and there's a lot here, but we're focused on alternative text. Okay, and as you can see, I've already added the words bald eagle to describe what that image is. Okay, folks, so now let's, let's bring an image in from the site's existing media library. And the way you would do that is you would place your cursor. I'm going to place my cursor here where you want that image to go. And then you're going to go to the add media box. Okay. And what that's going to do is it's going to offer you an ability to upload files from your desktop or to pull them from a media library. Okay, and as you can see, we've got some images here already. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to add it to the post we're working on. There it is. Um, I'm going to bring it right and then I'm going to click the pencil just like we did and I'm going to add all text that says, uh, you know, dog in blanket okay and then I would update that and it would be set so let's uh, let's take a look at a live page so some examples so what I did was I pulled a full construction company up and they offer a number of different shapes that they might build for somebody who's shopping around or looking around and as you can see if I wave my cursor over this shape it's called double Roman if I waved it over this shape it would be called a Grecian offset and so that's essentially what you're trying to achieve with alt text uh, right there. That's the purpose. So uh, hope it helps. Um, good luck with it, folks. Thanks.